The ongoing pandemic has practically redefined normalcy to everyone. Even though some countries are now easing the lockdown to revive the economy, mass gatherings of people in settings like parks, restaurants, concerts and cinema halls are still prohibited. While you cannot do anything about some of them, what you can do is bring the theatre experience home. And that's exactly what we have today. The ViewSonic M1 Mini Projector is an ultra portable of its kind with an emphasis on media consumption and the ability to transport it wherever you like. So let's discover more about it in this review. Take a look at this thing. It's so small, so sleek and it can comfortably fit inside an average size pocket. It kind of reminds me of Sony's Mini Disc Walkman. You remember those, right? Anyway, the M1 Mini has a squarish form factor and at just 0.3 kilograms, its lightweight build further adds to pocketability. The curved edges also complement its gentle design. The top of the projector features a colorful, replaceable plate with three options provided inside the box. For connectivity, you can get a micro USB port for power and recharge and a USB 2.0 Type A port that accepts pen drive and even hard drives and a standard HDMI 1.4 port. And this here is the focus ring to adjust the focus. It rotates in a 360 degree angle and I had no problem operating it. And this here is a small stand for adjusting the elevation. It also acts as the lens cover. Next to the lens is a vent for letting out air. All in all, for the design, I think the company has really nailed it. It is well built with attention to detail in every aspect. Now, since it has no onboard controls, the ViewSonic M1 Mini has this small remote powered by CMOS battery. It's got the basic control buttons and the remote is fairly responsive too. Provided that you're pointing at the IR receivers on either side, it'll work just fine. Coming to the display side of things, the ViewSonic M1 Mini is a lamp-free projector with an LED light source, a 0.2 inches DLP chip and a weighted brightness of 120 LED lumens. In terms of pixel count, it has a native FWVGA resolution of 854 by 480 pixels at 16 is to 9 aspect ratio, with support of up to full HD videos. Obviously, the M1 Mini downscales such high-res content to fit in its inherent resolution. Similarly, its LED light source has a rated lifespan of 30,000 hours. To put it into perspective, it's about 20 years with around 4 hours of use every day. Likewise here, the image size it can project ranges from 24 to 100 inches and it can even cast a big projection even though the surface and the lens are quite close. Now, let's move on to the user interface. On average, it takes about 10 to 12 seconds to get to the home screen after turning the projector on. You're greeted with a simple UI and you can navigate around them using the left-right keys on the remote. Additionally, you get a plus-minus 40-degree vertical keystone for adjusting the alignment of the image on the screen. And this can be done with the up and down arrow key. However, you can always turn on the Auto V keystone which automatically adjusts the alignment and it works pretty well. Now, let's talk about its main aspect, the performance. And right off the bat, it's not the brightest one. However, it gets plenty bright if you don't let the outdoor lights in and make your room dark. For my test, I placed the M1 Mini exactly 1.1 meters away from the frame. And the projector generated exactly 40-inch projection as advertised. In an environment with sufficient lighting, I found the brightest color mode worked best, with light source level bumped to full 100%. If that's not the case, you can toggle on the Eco level instead, which operates at under 70% brightness instead. Also, the TV and movie modes are optimized for sports and movie contents respectively. I went on about watching different kind of movies and the brightest mode worked as advertised and images were quite sharp with decent saturation level as well. Although they do degrade as you move the projector farther away from the screen. However, you will notice color inaccuracies and oversaturated under TV mode. I first witnessed it during one of the Marvel's Daredevil intro where even though everything is supposed to be of red hue, the color red has more of a pinkish tone to it. The setting also slightly oversaturates greens. Besides, the movie mode gives off slightly warmer images. But hey, if you don't prefer any of those, you can always tweak the display settings under the user mode. 
Also, if you use a flash drive to watch, the M1 Mini is only capable of playing the most basic of video files with similar encodings. Furthermore, it does not support soft-coded subtitles either, though video files hard-coded subtitles work just fine. Also, in case your video files has more than one audio tracks, it will play the first one encoded, with no options to toggle between them. So maybe ViewSonic could improve on these issues with a software update. In the audio department, you get a 2-watt mono JBL speaker on the left side. Music files can get loud enough for an average classroom, bedroom, or a small office space. Though you won't get a more dynamic audio output, but I think it is good enough for the price. As for battery life, the ViewSonic M1 Mini has a built-in 5000 mAh battery. In my test, I got around 2 hours of endurance on normal and 15 minutes more in the eco mode. You get a big battery low icon in the middle of the screen when the charge is low and it won't go unless you plug it into a power source or turn off the machine. It takes about 2 hours to recharge the projector from 0 to 100% using a 5V 2A charger. But the best thing is you can even use a power bank or your smartphone to transfer juice into this projector. Wrapping it all up, the ViewSonic M1 Mini is a good-looking and a standout pocket projector. Pun intended. Its unique stand makes adjusting the device easier. It also has a built-in battery and a mono speaker, which is great. The image projection is of pretty low resolution, so it is only feasible for a compact room. Having said that, there are a lot of other constraints as well, like limited input-output options, no wireless connectivity, no onboard controls, and excessive heating. Yes, this projector runs hot even after a mere seconds of turning it on. So if you're not into a portable projector like this one, do check out the Blitzwolf VP1 that I reviewed, which I think is a perfect $100 projector that I personally recommend. So that is all for the review of the ViewSonic M1 Mini Projector. What do you think about the device? Do let us know in the comments below. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I'll see you in the next one.